Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by Ashley Mitchell of the Augustana Women's Softball Team. Ashley, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you for having me. All right, before we get to your stellar performance from last week, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a fifth year student, thanks to COVID, at Augustana University. Um, I'm from Woodbury, Minnesota, and I graduated last year with my degree in education in Spanish and ENL, and now I'm doing my master's of education. So, all right, and what do you plan to do with that uh, post Augustana? Uh, this fall, I actually accepted a job at a middle school to teach ENL, so I'm super excited about that. It's here in Sioux Falls. Awesome. Great for great news for you. Um, so let's go backtrack a little bit. How did you get into softball and what drew you to Augustana University? Yeah, um, I started playing softball when I was really young and I really, really liked it. I played a couple different sports, but softball was the one that I really liked the most. And then I kind of continued playing throughout high school and everything. And then um, I came to Augie on a visit for softball and I really liked the campus community. I liked that it was small and it was kind of like a family and the team was like a family too so that's really what drew me to Augustana so it was a perfect fit for both. Excellent all right well I have two young daughters both play softball if you were to teach them how would you walk them through the mechanics of a perfect softball pitch? Yeah okay so I do I teach some young girls too and I really like to always talk about using your legs because your legs are the most important part they kind of do the hard work and your arm is just along for the ride is what I like to say. So making sure that they're staying in a straight line going forward and your arm is on a straight line, feet are on a straight line. That's the main thing that I think is the most important for pitching mechanics. But there's a lot of little details that go into everything. So, Well, those little details uh, were being used this weekend as what a weekend for you and the August Santa softball team. You win the softball NSIC softball tournament and earn that automatic bid to the Central Region Tournament. Uh, spirits must be pretty high right now around the team. Yeah, they definitely are. I think it was a good setup for us to go. I think it was 4-0 in conference tournament right before regionals, right before postseason. It was a good setup for postseason. It gave us a little bit of confidence and we're all ready to roll now. So. And definitely roll you did, but you started off with a couple of close ones to open it up, including uh, you pitching in a 3-1 victory over Southwest Minnesota State. You went the distance in that one, allowing just one run on five hits. Uh, you got out to a 3-0 lead. How confident, confident were you in yourself that you could hold on to that lead once you guys got it? Yeah, I think I was pretty confident. I think kind of my name of the game is just go right after the batters. So I like to just go right at them and let them hit it and let my defense work. And my defense was playing really well behind me that day too so I think that that gave me a lot of confidence going into it that that, that I could keep putting the ball in the zone and um, hopefully my defense would be able to make the plays which they did so yep he came over with that 3-1 victory against Southwest Minnesota State then he got into a dog fight with St. Cloud State bottom of the seventh tie game Virgin Lindner steps to the uh, steps into pinch hit and delivers the game winner uh, what was the mood in the dugout when coach called Lindner up to bat it was awesome everybody in the dugout knew we could feel it. We knew that she was going to get that hit and she was going to walk it off right there. I mean, she has worked so hard all year and she definitely deserves that opportunity and deserves to be out there doing that for the team. And she came through and we were all so, so happy for her. So that win advances you to take on Winona State uh, with you on the mound again. You swept the Warriors earlier in the season. What were the keys to keeping their high powered offense in check? Yeah, they are a very good hitting team. They're a very good all around team and they kind of always have been a rival for us and it's always really fun and high intensity when we play them so I think playing them in conference already kind of gave us the knowledge that we needed to be able to go after them again in conference tournament but all respect to them because they are a very good hitting team so it's hard to keep them off balance for that long but I think just kind of the preparation that we had from the previous games really helped us so a shutout win for you and the Vikings to advance to Saturday's championship game. However, you had to wait for a couple of earlier games to get done. You didn't know your opponent. It ends up being Winona State again. Um, but what was your pregame routine as you awaited those opponents? Yeah, well, we kind of, as you said, we didn't know who we were going to be playing. So we wanted to keep it the same as we had all week. We had been on a roll. So we wanted to just think about us and focus on our softball game and not be too concerned about who we were going to be playing. Obviously, like it's nice to be able to prepare sometimes, but I think our mentality was just go out and play Augie softball and make sure that we stick to that. 
and uh, came. you guys just came out firing, playing two in the first, eight runs in the second, and three in the third as you roll to a 13-0 five-inning win. Uh, what was it like to uh, take that in from the dugout? It's awesome. I I love when my teammates do so well. I'm, I get so excited when they're getting all those hits, hitting home runs and everything. It's just so amazing to be able to see everybody in our lineup and everybody on the team get so excited for each other because you can just tell that there's so much support there for everybody. And like Bergen going in and getting that pinch hit, there's so much support for, for everybody on the team. So it's awesome to see it from the dugout, from the field, wherever it may be. Yeah, so the shout out for Amber Elliott and 13 runs from your offense. Tell us a little bit more about your teammates. I love them. We're like a big family. So we all like to have a little bit of fun in the dugout too. And I think that the way that we have the most fun and do the best is when we're really focused on each other and focused on ourselves and not really playing to the other team or playing our softball game. So I think that that's super awesome about this team is that we're really able to get along and have fun and just kind of enjoy our experience out there every single game. Selection show aired Monday morning. You knew you were in. You draw the number three seed and you'll take on six seeded Arkansas Tech. Uh, the Vikings fell to Tech 6 3 back in February in Texas. What will be the difference maker when you meet up again with them? Yeah, I think everybody gets better from the beginning of the year. So I would like to say that we have improved since then. And definitely um, we know what it takes at this point in the season to be able to play at the best of our ability and be able to play at the highest level that we know we can. So I think in February, those were our first games of the year. So we weren't quite sure like how things were all going to click. And I think we are clicking now. So I think that that's going to be a big difference maker for us. And it's going to be exciting to see what this team can do in postseason. All right. Well, best of luck to you and the Vikings as you enter the Central Region Tournament. That's going to wrap up this week's show. Thank you again to our sponsor, GPAC. Uh, you can follow along the Vikings uh, and all the NSIC softball action in the regional tournament at northernsun.org. Ashley, thanks again for joining us and best of luck to you and the Vikings of the tournament. Thank you so much.